everyone, I am Ugar Nabiev. Today I am going to talk to you about my English fluency journey. I remember when I was a child, a scientist in the field of biology, who was a friend of my father, would visit us with his family. I often saw him looking for foreign channels on the radio and finding and listening to programs in English. I asked him if he understood English. He replied, no, I don't understand. It was very strange to me, and I asked him why he was listening. He said, you listen to it too. See how it is chirping like a nightingale. I don't understand anything in English, but I just like listening to conversations in this language, as if I was listening to music. This conversation made a deep impression on me, so I still remember it as a wonderful childhood memory. After that, even though I didn't understand this language, I loved it. Where I saw English writing, I watched it carefully. I tried to listen to English programs on the radio, even if I didn't understand them. Later, I began to study English on my own and went to English speaking clubs to improve my speaking skills. In a conversation club at one of the language centers, I noticed a young man running the center who spoke differently from the others. I liked his dialect very much, as if the words had sounded like a melody of music. His speech was very fluent. It became clear to me that this dialect, which I had never encountered before, was American English. After that, I fell in love with this dialect and wished that one day I could speak American English like this young man. Later, I was fortunate enough to be invited to the United States as part of a group of winners of an educational exchange program through Project Harmony and to participate in this program sponsored by the U.S. Department of State. I visited New York City, Vermont, Missouri, and Kansas states. We were invited to various organizations, including high schools, universities, other organizations, as well as the Senate of Vermont and the permanent mission of the Republic of Azerbaijan to the United Nations. While there, for some reason, I felt at home, witnessed the high level of American hospitality and even attended their Easter celebrations. I was awarded a certificate of recognition in the United States for my active participation and research in the exchange program. Later, an elderly woman from Alaska also visited our family for the exchange program. After returning from the United States, a new phase in my life began. The young man, who was the head of the language center, I mentioned earlier, offered me a job as an English teacher at the language center. Teaching English to students in a practical way greatly improved my own language skills. Later, I also began working as a translator, which further boosted my language skills. I currently work as a translator as well as a teacher. Thank you for your attention. I wish you new success in learning English. I invite you to hit the like button, share this video, as well as subscribe my channel. Bye.